Now, as the new Chief Secretary to the Treasury, David Laws, recent took up his, uh, recently took up his new post, it's been revealed that he arrived at his new office only to discover a handwritten note from his predecessor, Liam Byrne, which read, Dear Chief Secretary, I'm afraid to tell you this, but there is no money. Kind regards and good luck. <laughs> Now, it's since been said that the letter was written as a joke. <laughs> How funny! The country's yeah. almost bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> but in our own lives, when it comes to passing on important information, is it right to share that kind of news on paper? Well, I do. That's what I do all the time. If my family see the note up against the kettle, they go, oh, my God. <laughs> but, oh, be no. Well, because I just find I'm not very good... I'm not very good at con confrontation. Well, you think I was good at confrontation, but when it comes to something quite serious, I get really, really emotional. So if it's something to do with with, with, with Matty, who's again, who's my eldest, I find it easier to put stuff in a letter. Right? He's not he's not really a, ba a bad lad, so it doesn't happen very often. But if I'm disappointed in in his behaviour, I find it easier because he doesn't like that. I am disappointed. Oh in, no, in that's horrible. Just like, but I feel that if I have a go at him, he'll have a, you know like kids mm. and mums do. He'll have a go back. Then it'll just be things that we didn't want to say to each other that happen in the sort of you know the heat of the moment, and it'll all be a waste of time. So I feel that if he can digest it and take it away. That's what that's what mm. I do. Yeah. And I mean, some people might think it's a cop out. I mean, I had somebody that had work, work, worked for us for a, a long, long time who I loved dearly. But it was just one of those transient times. It was it was ready to, you know, but I just couldn't because I thought I'll end up going, look, I know you've worked for me. For a long time. <laughs> and I just thought I'd do that. So I, I, would, I did, it, did it in a letter. And I hope to this day that, that she didn't think it was a, it was a cop out because it just meant that I could say how much she'd meant to us in the family mm. and everything. So I'm a great letter writer I'm the in that same. respect. I, I wish I could have sent me. Robert Redfrish a letter. <laughs> <laughs> but I always said my whole marriage was a note. <laughs> it was just a note, really. Notes under the bed and the, everywhere. I couldn't, I couldn't, I can't bear when somebody starts. You know, I'd rather send them a letter even if they're over there. Yeah, I'd read that. You know, or maybe a, make it into a poem if it's easier. Oh, no. You know, or something like that. <laughs> I I'm disappointed it. you're double jointed. <laughs> <laughs> I said that one. No, uh, but I think it's just. I, Actually, I think the, uh, the art of letter writing died, didn't it? Oh, I it? think so. I you know, when, uh, when emails came out and texts came out, texts, I've sent terrible texts. And the thing is, I've always done it in letter, but one day somebody said to me, why don't you go and confront your ex-husband? Why don't you actually face-to-face -face tell him what you actually think instead of sending texts and that? I went, OK, I will. So I went over to Spain, faced him and completely fell apart and couldn't do it, oh. and, and I was destroyed by it. And I thought, right, that's a lesson for me. You know, even if it's Denise next door, I'll write her a little letter and send her, read that, Denise, because, you know, I don't like you anymore and I have to tell you. <laughs> because I can't face her going, why don't you know me? And what a cha 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 and tits and cha cha and Don't repeat it's it on the telly, the telly. Sherry. Oh, did I? I <laughs> don't you think, though, that there's something really important, like breaking up with somebody, or not even that important. If you're significantly upset with somebody, it's always best to try and sit down and sort it out face to face. Mm. And then I find to follow it up with a letter. Oh. And then just, just, just to kind of clarify things, because obviously, I don't know, I think there are two, you're, you're either one or the other in life, you're either, you're either a fight or a flee. Mm. And, and I, I don't mind the fight because I think, resolve it, let's get this cleared up. Mm. I don't like the fight. I, I, I would much rather, if it's a relationship-based problem, I would much rather sit down and talk about it. Mm. You know, this is how I feel, how do you feel, and listen and all that. But if it's somebody that doesn't want to talk, or then when they do talk, they're shouting and all that, then there's no point, because mm. no one's really listening. No, but I suppose you so could if you can't get your point across, then go, OK, well, I've written this letter. Mm. And they have it's to read it. It's one-sided, some, some, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it's sometimes it's a one-sided one conversation, yeah. Yeah, they, of course they can respond, but... I don't know, it's a very long, drawn-out way of kind of getting it's your point. It's great, though, because it's very cathartic. It in is. fact, I'm just finishing mine now. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Ray, sometimes I've written and I've not sent them as well. Do you know what I mean? I've realised that I've just got... I, I, as you say, yeah. it's kind of therapeutic, that I've got stuff out. And I've thought, you know, I don't... 
I don't need to send it. I'll just, you know. Mm. No, a lot of people not do say that. A lot of the... therapists would advise that as well. Just write it all down yeah. and never send the letter. It's like a diary, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I actually wrote a letter once saying these things to this bloke, and I said not very nice things in this letter and posted it and then I went oh, into yeah. absolute yeah, so I waited I waited for hours for the postman to come to open the little door so and they had to look through the letter and he got it for me and took it back because I was so upset about what I'd said you know but you can't do that but that's the horrible email, thing of emails or texts the, the immediacy of it and it then it then and then, then that sweat <gasps> breaks out and it's awful isn't it when you go <gasps> cold sweat, sweat. But yeah. you see, that's what's good about letter writing, because you can go and see a little postman and he'll come <laughs> and he'll give it you back, can't you? You can't Ooh. see a little email Only now. if he happens to be standing by yeah, the post no, box, no, though, when you've posted your letter. No. Yeah. <laughs> OK, well, are you a boy's own fan? If you are, brace yourself, because...